Uh, uh, play, place more redstone. More redstone. More, more redstone. Oh. What? Oh. It's done. So, so, so much has been done in the 700 years since the last episode. But when I said we're done, I mean, you know, that's a, that's a phrase. That's a phrase. So we're not actually done, but we're really, really close. You see, I've got all the systems basically built now. All the redstone is, for the most part, done. Uh, it's just today we gotta start testing things. So the goal today is by the end of this episode, the game is 100% ready to play. Oh, uh, by the way, we're making Among Us in Survival Minecraft, for those of you that are new here. It's a whole thing. So let's recap where we are now since last episode. Uh, I can't even remember all the things I've done because it's so much, but basically, the amount of redstone we have below the game now is fairly stupid. And uh, yeah, this is what has been taking me all my time here. I've had to rip this out, redo it a couple times. This is the point now where like, I've had to change my redstone design on things because there's just simply not enough room for the redstone I need down here. So let's take a look at some of the systems that uh, we've got implemented here. I'm gonna show you the item pickup systems here. And and before we're done here, I'm gonna show you all the tasks that we have implemented. All the tasks are in, All they're all working and everything. And we're gonna go through all of them just so you guys are familiar with uh, what kind of tasks we have. Now, for instance, this is an item pickup station. It's a, a simple kind of like you just walk over here if I need glowstone in other words there's a there's a task that says I need glowstone you come over here you stand on this pressure plate you kind of wait you kind of wait you kind of wait till the light turns on and bink and then you get your one glow that there should have been one glowstone in there so I'd say about half the tasks use this simple pickup system the other ones do something unique based on the task and again we'll get into all of them this this for example here is a sapling pickup come over here you stand on the thing and this is just to cause you to be vulnerable so that you can be stabbed pick up your sapling and you're off. Now the opposite of the pickup is of course the drop off and there's a lot more of these. These things took forever to add, but basically this is a sample one here. So there's a there's a task to bring bread to feed the guards at the guardhouse, okay? So you would bring your bread over here that you acquired through doing your tasky task. You go over here, you drop it in the thing. If it's the right item, that trap door opens and then you can put your book in there and that is what actually finishes the task. When all the tasks are done, the crewmates, or the crafters as we call them, have won the game. And of course, I now have a ton of these dead body reporting stations. So you guys have seen these, the way these work now is when a player dies, and we're gonna go over a lot of this because some of this has changed. We have, we have a cool little addition to death. Um, but when a player dies, they must immediately see themselves out uh, the nearest dead body reporting station. So they'll see this, they come over here, they walk, they hit the string, the observer, bloop, 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 the light turns on, okay? That registers a dead body. It may lose the game right there if that was the last crafter that needs to die. Uh, and then the light turns on here. Now someone else coming by is all like happy crafter person. They're, they see the light, they press the button, that calls a meeting, everyone goes up to the spaceship through ender porters, they chatty chatty, they vote people off into the oblivion of space and stuff. So you guys have seen all those systems before, but the big the big accomplishment is getting that in throughout the entire game. That took a tremendous amount of effort, but let's move on to some new stuff here, and that is all of the tasks are done and in, and theoretically working. So what I want to do is go really quick speed round through these tasks so you guys know what all the tasks are in the game. But first, I want to show you guys this a great little map that was tweetificated at me, and it's, it's pretty great. It's pretty simple. It, it's clear. It shows where everything is. It's basically to scale, and the red lines represents the vents that the imposters can go through. I might need to add another vent or something here and there, but that's generally the playable play a little, little, little that's generally the playability of the map i'll try to put a linky linky in the description if you guys want to download this and check it out for yourself so on to the task ready set go task number one smelting fuel deliver coal to the smithy head down into the mines and collect coal from all four coal Mine shafts. Craft the coal into a coal block and head over to the blacksmith and drop it off. Chimney cleaner. The fisherman at the pond needs his chimney cleaned. Head on over to the fisherman's hut and uh, clean out his dirty chimney. Really complicated. You press the button, feather falls down, <laughs> cleans out the gunk in the chimney as you wait for it to fall through the cobweb. And there it goes. The trap door opens. You put your book in. Task complete. Ah, uh, the classic. Sift the gravel. Head down into the mines and find uh, the gravel sifter. All you gotta do is press these buttons to make that gravel go in front of the observer. Opens the trap door. Task complete. The ice tunnel. I like this one. You gotta head into the ice tunnel here. 
pop through, a door closes, you grab a boat, there's no boats, you grab a boat, firmly place your buttocks in it, and skadoodle around the track, more skadoodling, finally make your way over to the end, debut, get in the thing, put your boat, put your boat in there, opens the thing, put your task in there, task complete, see yourself out. Ah! Hungry guards, feed the guards, bring them bread. You gotta head over here to this corner of the forest and break this grass until you get seeds. And look, magic, lo and behold, it just automatically replenishes. So you gotta sit here and pop until you get three seeds. Head on over to the farm, go plenty, plenty, plenty. Press the fancy button, maybe a couple times. Breaky, breaky, breaky. Craft the wheat and drop it off at the guardhouse. Snowball target. You guys have seen me build this one here. Very simple. Well, actually, it's not. It's probably one of the more complex ones. Press the button here. Snowball pops up. Lights will go by. Bam! I'm never good at this game. Grab a snowball. You got to hit this target block right here, right before that one lights up. And if you do it, the snowman will light up. You got to do that three times. If you get all three of them, trap door open, put book in, task complete, snowman happy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and interrupt this episode here to inform you that I cannot possibly cover all the tasks. There are too many. It will take 20 minutes. So you guys get the benefit of learning all these tasks as people play them. Basically, there's a lot of delivery tasks. There's a lot of pick up this, turn it into the that bring it over there and then all the other tasks are ones that I've already showed you like in the lab and, and things and cheap and farm stuff parkour 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 <laughs> parkour parkour all right little change of pace first here before we get into making the among us game all playable and everything i want to head over to the district of of the happy happy shopping land and uh somebody somebody named etho has got a new business or a new a new activity or, or something I, I think can we just take a moment to say and and draw attention to how much ethos building skills have improved over the years he is a top quality builder now in my opinion welcome to brainy ease all right so my understanding is this is a trivia game brainy ease trivia theme minecraft i would hope so prize spruce logs i could use some spruce logs instructions place your diamonds in the shulker near the lectern look at the shulker box that appears and read the question choose and toss the one item from the shulker box that best answers the question into the hopper in front of you tip over your mouse over press q uh the lights turn off and the system is out of questions check back later okay Okay, uh, we'll give it a try. So I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. Uh, I'm actually not very knowledgeable. I know, I know, I know it's shocking, but I'm not very knowledgeable about this game. So I expect to get all, and I mean all, of these questions wrong. <laughs> here we go, here we go. I am excited. We're gonna put in just one diamond first. Okay. Shulker, shulker appears. That's hard to say. Uh, can't go in a flower pot. Yikes. Okay, I know bamboo can. I know mushrooms can. I think the dead bush, the cactus. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get sugar cane. I think sugar cane. Let's see. Definitely can. The only the only ones I'm not positive about are the new work or the new roots. I think it's sugar. Cane? I think you can put a sapling. Oh, can you not put I've never put we're, we're gonna go with the first sugar cane. Sugar cane. Yeah! I did I Hey! <laughs> I got it! That's amazing! Question number two. Wait, why do I still have the Oh I got my diamond back? That's fantastic. Go. Improves fishing rates. Oh my gosh. Fishing at dawn, fishing at day, fishing at dusk, fishing at night, fishing above Y32, fishing below Y32, fishing while sunny, fishing while raining, nothing. This feels like a trick question, but, but the answer is fishing while raining. I missed! <laughs> Oh, he is unstoppable, ladies and gentlemen. 
pressing the luck with question three. Most XP from smelting. Oh no. Sea pickle. Oh, I know this one. This is, uh, no. Okay, I was expecting cactus to be up here. So I was looking at this recently because I wanted to build a smelting XP farm. Cactus is the best one that you can actually farm, but some of these, oh no. Oh no. Yep, not gonna lie. I think this one's gonna be a guess. Sea pickle feels interesting to me. But I feel like Nether Quartz Ore has got to be the answer. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong on this one. Oh, <laughs> I guess we'll never know. I'll have to go check out what the answer was. I may or may not be addicted to Brainy E's trivia game. Perhaps we'll do more later. So an amazing thing happened, and that thing is Hermits Helping Hermits. For those of you who haven't figured out what this is yet, it is a, a stream, a live stream that happens on Mondays. Uh, I think it's like 1 p.m. Pacific time, and basically a bunch of hermit, hermits log in, and we just hang out. We just hang out and have fun and chat, and we pick a hermit and we help them out. And this week I was lucky enough for the hermits to log in and help me, and we just threw the entire roof on Among Us. So I want to give a big thank you to Jevin, to Joe, to Cleo, to Cub, and to Impulse for stopping by and helping me do this. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Okay, okay. We are, we're finally getting to the fun stuff, guys. I've put in another handful of hours finishing off the roof here, putting light, lighting it all up, taking all the torches out. It's not done yet. I think what I'm going to do actually is black carpet the entire thing. Um, I'm not sure yet though, but this right here, this is where you placed your unfinished house. So after you die, right, you come up one of these, uh, and these are sprinkled all around the place, all the dead body reporting stations. You come up here and, uh, you place your books in here and it automatically will finish those tasks at a, at a slow pace for you. And that frees you up to do other things up here. So I've mentioned this in the past. Uh, when I say other things up here, I want you to basically hand in your tasks right away. And uh, this isn't done yet. I'll get to this, but, uh, we're going to have like little things popping up through the floor here like iron nuggets or gold nuggets or something and if you collect you know nine of them or whatever it is you you trade them in i'm gonna put like a little system somewhere where you can trade in the things you pick up and you get splash potions of turtle master okay and then there's gonna be a lot of like little slots like this just like this right here so you can't fall down there but you can kind of see into the game okay so what you do now is you take your, your splash potion of slowy slowy and wait for your victim to come by and you know throw it on their face now if you're if you're a crafter, you may want to splash the person who killed you, the imposter. But if you're an imposter who got voted off, you may want to splash some of the other crafters to slow them down. So it'll add a lot more sus seeing people slow. Be like, why are you slow? You know, it'll 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 raise some questions for sure. The other interesting thing I want to show you guys here, way back in the guts of the redstone, up in the corner here, is the 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 shulker loading system. And this right here is where it figures out what task it's going to put into every person's uh, starting shulker box. Which in a second we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bring some people over here and we're gonna try and test this out, I think. But this right here is is the task, right? So I've got like easy tasks. Uh never mind the barrel, that's that's overload. Easy tasks here. I have six there. I have some medium tasks here. Six of those. I have unique tasks. These na these names are weird. These are ones that are like custom devices I built more than just like pick up and hand in. And then these are difficult tasks that like require a lot of steps and stages to do it. Falling. So the way it's set up right now is they're going to get one item from each of these. And again, there's a couple that are empty here. So there's four of them that have have a uh, task them. So they're going to get four tasks. They're going to get one easy, one medium, one unique, and one difficult. And I can obviously change that by how I, you know, redistribute the items in these barrels. If I could, I want, you know, if I wanted to double up on easy tasks, I could just copy half of those and put them in there, that kind of thing. It's actually really cool. And then over here, you know, on the opposite side of every, uh, you know, of every dispenser here or dropper, there's a, a you know, a dropper full of them. So Heart explode. <laughs> yeah, that was terrifying. Okay, that was uncalled for. Anyway, every time one of these tasks gets shot out, one of these nuggets will get shot out as well too. And that's how I count how many tasks are left. So every time, every time they finish a task, this redstone goes boop and lets one more task out. And when that barrel is empty, that means the crafters have won because they finished all their tasks. 
Question four, go. Needed to craft rabbit stew. Um, uh, well, mutton in rabbit stew. What is this? Half of this stuff isn't. I have no idea what I'm doing. Sweet berries and rabbit stew. All right, I, wow, I have no clue. Oh, 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 I see, I misread this, I misread this. Okay, it's which one of these is, I thought it was like which one was not part of the recipe for some reason. All right, uh, well, I'm gonna go on a limb and guess it's not mutton, even though it's probably a true question. I, I don't know. Potatoes, you put, you put potatoes in a stew, right? Put them in a pot, stir them. So, we are basically ready to get some people over here and maybe run through the first test case of it and i'll save all the explanation for when they're here because they're gonna have no idea who to play i don't even know who we're gonna get we'll see okay so we got one test dummy here hi test dummy how are you <laughs> i want one of those outfits <laughs> i want a yellow among us well you'll have skin. to work on that Hook you, have to, you have to wait for the real uh, play session then you can bust out all the costumes and okay everything. yeah uh, all by right. the way I, i'll come I, prepared I for five dollars a piece if you want one i'm just saying Oh, 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 right. Okay, I, okay. I gotta monetize yep. this game somehow. <laughs> um, no, but the, exactly. the thing I want to test with you, actually, I mean, we could, there's not really a bunch of people around to test the whole game, um, but I want to test this. We have a server side data pack on that <laughs> helps you know when you die, when you're when you're shot. Wait, you're gonna kill me? I think so. Yeah, and then you're gonna kill me. When they say kill, you know, I have to use air quotes there, right? Because you're not actually dying in oh. this game. So the data pack okay. makes you know that you're dead. Are, are you ready? Yep, I'm okay. ready. I have no idea if this is going to work. So, test number one. Uh, oh, yeah, um, yep. <laughs> Can't miss okay. that. It, it squirted stuff everywhere and said, it, bang, it, you're it dead. Worked on, it worked on this end, too. Um, yeah, I want, I want you to try because oh. I want to see that end. Here, take someone out. And someone Wait, out. I'm, I'm like invisible yeah, you are. now. Okay. So, yeah, it's only if you're okay. hit with an invisibility arrows within the bounds of Among Us and you know, like all these things, okay. and then it'll actually play this effect. There we go. So, God, hit me. All right, you want to yeah. see it? <laughs> hmm. oh, it's man. a little vague yeah it's a little vague my, it, might need to turn it oh, up like <laughs> that's gonna be terrible particles are gonna be on the floor for a second so like people could walk and in and just fine. see particles that's and, fine i'm fine yeah, with no, that somebody, i'm fine with wow, that wow that is cool that's jarring man if you nice. if you're like belly up to the thing like i'm just gonna hand my bread in here hey like bam yeah. right in the back here shoot me again that was fun that is jump scare <laughs> territory oh i'm out of invisible yeah, arrows yeah, though so. okay so if you. i'm in here like um, i'm just gonna hand in some bread and do a thing <laughs> that's so good oh that's gonna be great oh, okay man. well oh. that's it yeah i just wanted to see if that worked all right seems like you're getting pretty we are close, getting close. Man. We are. Getting i still gotta test all the combobulators uh, and efficators and stuff and all right we'll get there. Well, we'll get there. if you need any more test dummies you know who to call <laughs> dummy number one yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm number one that's right. true at least i'm number one that's right right. <laughs> right dude thanks all right here's your crossbow oh, yeah. you're welcome see ya it's question five go max size bamboo grows 16 15 14, 15, 15, 15, 15. Oh. I don't know. I should know this. I should know this. 16 would be the obvious answer because everything is in, in terms of 16. He should have put an unlimited here because some people might have guessed that. Uh, I'm going to say, oh man, 12 or 16 are the are the acceptable answers here. I think I... Uh, going with the gut. 16. Hey, we got it. Give me my, give me my stuff. Yeah. All right, so here's what I want to do now. I want to take you guys on like a playthrough through a full game or a couple games of the Among Us game here. And I want to like test all the possible win-loss conditions, that sort of thing. Um, You can see the extravagant entry room here. It's amazing. The, the wonderful step down. Uh -huh. The accommodations are outstanding here. <laughs> we have some work to do. Um, right here is the chest where you'll put all your biddies in here to uh, store them up for the game. And then you enter in down here. Again, all that stuff I will I'll get finished off sooner or later. We're really just trying to get gameplay complete here. This room right here, minus these shulkers, here, ignore those is where the players can kind of just meet meet up and get ready to play and more importantly they choose what colors they want to play so i will always be red because this is kind of like the mass it's a little, a little bit special there's a button inside there which we'll see in a second that's how the, the game is actually started but the players basically just decide where they want to what they want to be you know you want to be brown you go on the brown you step on the pressure plate there and it'll basically mark brown as saying hey 
Brown needs to get some kind of shulker box to play the game this round. So I'm going to simulate a very small game here with just red, blue, and yellow. And I have the game set to one imposter. It is configurable by tweaking a little bit of redstone over there in the back, basically just moving a nine around. So I'm going to go step on this. So the red player is now active. And then I'm going to come over here and pretend that the blue player is active. You can hear little things firing out. That's basically telling the signal, hey, I need a shulker box for this color and yellow okay so now once everyone is checked in the red player will everyone stands on top of these pressure plates here and the the red player's like hey guys everyone ready ready and then we hit the button bam and we fall in okay now what's happening is it's actually building the shulker boxes over there and distributing them to the colors. so i should see uh there's blue just got his yellow should get there shortly mm -hmm. Yep, and then I get the last one because it's got a loop all the way around. Now, I either get a white shulker or a red shulker, which determines if I'm a crafter or the imposter, and... And... Then, ooh, all right, so I'm the, <laughs> I got the imposter, okay? So red one of the imposter. This is an imposter chest here. They get a fake task. This is just a book that they can hold in their hand to just kind of make it look like they're reading a book, trying to figure out the task so they can pretend better to be a uh, an, a, a crewmate um, or a crafter. Um, I, I, need to, I need to get moving here. But anyways, I would take all my stuff here and I would hop down here, okay? I would take an ender pearl out of here. And I would load the uh, Ender Porter Stasis Chamber thing and press this button, okay? Now, this is just a pregame here. Everyone's going to, like, talk. And this is also where you, like, lift your eyes up and, you know, do the whole see who the imposter is. And that'll all be in the video later on. But eventually, this is basically just like a pre-meeting right now. Um, it's like a meeting before the game. But eventually, this will lower right here. And when it does, the, the, it's game on. Everyone gets to go in. So in this case, there'll be a blue player standing there and a yellow player over there. And we'd be ready. There we go. Time to go. So we drop down here. Bam. We're into the game now. Now, I'm the imposter. So I obviously I wouldn't have all this garbage on me and everything. I would have like, what is it? The fake task. I would probably just have like the fake task in my hand. Or I would probably even just do like you know, nothing in my hand, all right? And I would start going around and pretending to do a task, right? Maybe I'll come over here and chop a pumpkin or something like that. But the important thing is I'm actually looking for the imposters. And as soon as I do, I want to switch to the crossbow and shoot them. So like I said, I want to run through and test all the different conditions that would make the game end. So the first one I want to test is all of the crafters are killed or voted off by the imposter. So uh, I become a, a, a dead imposter as soon as, you know, as soon as someone does this. Bam, the light turns on, that's a dead, that's a, uh, that's a dead crewmate right there, I, I keep saying crewmate, that's a dead crafter right there, okay, and they're already registered, now, if someone else comes by and sees this, right, they could call a meeting, so I'll, I'll be another person here, right, call a meeting, bam, and then, bam, real quick, the ender porter kicks in, I get another ender pearl in my inventory, and I reload the system, and a meeting has started, and I just fall down right here, okay, we're all here, we all discuss who, who we think is sus, who needs to get voted off. Okay, now the way you vote is I have two things down here. You'll see a barrel, which has all the colors of wool in it, and I have a dropper here. If whoever I want to vote off, if I think if I think yellow is the imposter, I would just reach in here, grab a yellow piece of wool, and put a single piece of yellow wool in this dropper, right? I could tell people who I voted for. Maybe I don't, but it is anonymous voting, okay? And then after that, you're going to hear like a little a little note play, which basically says like you got 10 seconds left. Um, and that's what that's 10 seconds before the votes are going to be tallied. So that should be coming up in a little bit. There it is. Oh, my timing is fantastic today. So that's 10 seconds left. You could, you know, hurry up, get your votes in, get your votes in. And then we'll fast forward a little bit. Now, if I, if, yellow got the most votes their glowstone that they're standing on there would drop out boom and they're dead they're they're going to be on the roof of the game and then after that the stairs open up and they let us back down into the game okay so we're back in now the first thing i want to check is that this light should be off okay the light got reset so obviously you can't double report the same body so this dead body reporting station is free to be used again so now if i was a victim and i just got shot and i needed to see myself out right this would Ah, let's try that again. Uh, if there was one more dead body now, because remember, there was only two crafters and one imposter in this game, okay? So if I walk in here, what should happen, okay? I haven't tested this, so it's probably going to be broken. What should happen is it should, uh, the game should end. We should hear a failure tune, like a bum, 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 because the imposters would just win and it should call a meeting automatically. 
didn't work. As usual, it's something stupid. I think it's this guy right there. That signal needs to be at length too, so that those torches can flicky flicky on and off. Let's try again. So obviously none of the dead bodies reported actually work, so it still thinks there's two players alive. So let's pretend that there's some carnage in the chicken room here, okay? I'm gonna go in here. This should trigger one player death. I heard more piston action happen over there. And now this, maybe the imposter just got lucky and killed someone else over here. There it is. Okay, phew. I may be nervous there. Did you hear a little music? Do, 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 do. So that game is now over. And the reason I call a meeting is just so that, you know, everyone can talk and laugh and all that stuff before they start the next game. There's this question. Qu -qu question 40, 42. <sighs> Wither hit points. 50, 150, 100, 120, 150. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so not positive here. I know the dragon's got like 500 or 600 or something crazy, and the wither's got a lot less, but none of these low numbers make sense. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, oh wait, he put 150 in here twice. What the heck? <laughs> oh, your game's busted. We're going 200. Wait, 200, 200. Oh, <laughs> I'm sad. Let's start another game now. Three players, one imposter. We're gonna go with red, blue, and yellow. And start the game as red, and we wait, and I'm hoping this time I'm the imposter. Did I say imposter? I meant to say crafter. It's late. I'm hoping this is a white box. It's a white box! Excellent, okay, so now, oh, this is good. I've got one emergency meeting token, and four tasks, doink, 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 doink. All right, let's get into the meeting here. There's supposed to be a uh, an ender ball spitting out at me here. I'm not sure why it's not. Okay, anyways, manual, do this, enter in, okay, and we wait. And game on. All right, drop in. Now I'm an actual crafter here, so I have actual tasks. I have fishy dinner, I have bone delivery, I have Frosty's friend, and I have the Lightificator. So we're going to actually see if me completing these tasks... Oh, I got to do the tasks of the other player, too. I got eight tasks to do. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so I cheated a little bit, and I just knocked off four tasks off the counter behind the scenes. So, you know, kind of simulating the other players doing their part. So let's go through our tasks here real quick. First one is fishy dinner. Uh, bring a coach cod to the, to the kitchen. Head to the pond. Grab a fishing pole. Fish in the pond until you catch a cod. Return the pole. Cook the cod in the kitchen, deliver the cooked cod to the kitchen. Okay, this is a difficult task. I mean, by difficult, it just means time consuming. So we got to head over here, up to the fisherman's hut, step on this pressure plate here. I, I said... Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot it puts it in the... I was waiting for it to spit out or something. It puts it there. It puts it there. I already got all these lure fishing poles all set up and ready to go here. Uh, let me put this one back here because that's where the return fishing poles go. Uh, we, we catch a fish and... Doink! What did I get? Did I get... I got a cod. Fantastic. I put the pole back in there. And no! I put my... He just gave him my bow. We'll have to pick that up later. Now we head all the way over to the kitchen through the library here, over here, over here. And there's a smoker here with some coal in there. And don't, don't worry, it's no cheat coal. So they can't use this for the other test that requires it. They cook the smoker they look around. They make sure they're not being stabbed in the face. They wait, cooked cod done. They head over to the cooked cod drop-off section. And I want to make sure I got fishy dinner there. So I put the thing in there. I look down. I do this. I put the thing in the thing. I'm stuck. That didn't happen. That didn't happen at all. I don't I don't know. I mean, no one would ever be so stupid as to fall on that one little hole right there, right? That no one could ever reproduce that stupidity, right? Right? I, I blame Grin. It's Grant's fault. Task number two is bone delivery. Pick up a bone from the dungeon, deliver the bone to the house at the farm. We'll head through the laboratory and down into the dungeon while we wait for the door. Do, 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 do. Into the dungeon. Right, we get bones here. This is your standard pickup station. Stand on this, wait for the light to turn on. Bone, there we go. One bone acquired. You're looking pretty sus there, buddy. We head over to the farm, into the actual farmhouse here, and then lo and behold, there's the bone drop. I'm not going to fall in the hole this time. You watch. I'm amazing at this game. All right, we put the bone in the thing. The thing opened. The th 
the thing <sighs> yeah it helps if you put the filter set the filter to the item let's try that again let's put a bone in hey it opens up we put the book in Task complete. All right, next task is a pretty easy one. Gather a pumpkin from the from the farm, and it explicitly says you can break a block. So in the few cases where players are allowed to break blocks, I explicitly tell them in the instructions. And then deliver the pumpkin to the frost cave. So we come over here, we do the punchy punchy. Give me a pumpkin. Thank you very much. Head over to the frost cave. Now, hopefully, I remember to set the filter correctly on this one. Uh, pumpkin in, door open, Frosty's friend in excellent task complete one more you guys know the last task it is the lightificator you have to press the four buttons on the lightificator until all four are lit basically this is just a 50 50 randomizer on all these buttons so the best thing to do is just press all four of them and then just loop back and press all the ones that are out i got unlucky so far here i'm getting really unlucky wow light light we got one there and and there we go. Hey, okay, put that in. This and. Oh, ho, ho, fantastic. Crafters win. Task complete. It's time for question. I lost count. Non bastion loot. Why do you have to ask me these questions about modern Minecraft, Etho? I hate you. Now, I'm guessing he means in bastion loot chest, not drop from mobs in the bastions oh i honestly have no idea on this one you know what the chain looks a little suspect the string looks a little suspect but i think the one that looks most suspect to me is the iron ingot i don't think they're gonna be giving you iron ingots i don't this is totally wrong Hey, look, it's totally wrong, guys. Just, you know, because because it's totally wrong. And finally, I want to test if we can actually vote off the imposter and win. So we got a three-player game set up with red, blue, and yellow. I'm hoping that I am a crafter here and I can vote off uh, the other people. I got my I got my camera count right on right now, so I'm going to go see. Okay, blue is the... It looks like the imposter is... Yeah, the imposter is yellow. Okay, I just figured that out by, by being a little snoopy snoopy. Okay, so let me uh, wait for this here. There's my box. Get all my tasks and my emergency button. I have two. I have one from the last game. There's a little trash here for any leftover items. You can throw them in there between games. Head down here. I got to fix this still. Do the thing here with the thing. Throw this in there. And talk to the people. You know, throw out threats. Wait for the game to start. And we're off. Okay, game starts. Drop down. And you know what? For some reason, I just got a hunch this game. I got a hunch that yellow is the imposter. So I'm going to call an emergency meeting right away. Bam! There it is. Did I get my Did I get my ender pearl? I don't know. It might have shot one in my face or not. We're going to reload this. Head into the meeting here, okay? And I could tell it's yellow. It's you, yellow. Calling them out. I get my yellow token. I do this. I do this. I put the yellow in there. Everyone vote yellow. Hopefully yellow will get more votes. So uh, we'll see here. All right. I cheated and I busted my way out because I want to see if the yellow glowstone drops out here because there's one vote for yellow and blue did not vote. So we'll wait. Should be happening shortly. There it is. <laughs> okay, good. So yellow just got voted out. The game should have ended. The game didn't end. A redstone signal does not travel 25 blocks. <laughs> no, it does not. We need a little repeater there to uh, extend the signal a bit. Okay, so here's where we're at. The game isn't 100% done, but it's like 99.9% .9 done. I just got to iron out the last few kinks here. We're so, so close, all right? I am not going to make any more videos on Among Us until we play it. The next time you guys see me down here is because we have seven hermits and the game is tested and the game is ready to go. I will finish off some of these tasks in live stream uh, just to get us going here just so we can get to the state where we can play. That's all you guys want to see. That's all I want to do. Trust me. So with that said, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and more importantly, I want to I want to thank you for your patience as I turn through the dozens and dozens of hours it takes to make this game work. I think I'm at about 70 hours in here now. But we got a huge, huge amount done this episode, and, and it's ready. It's just about ready. I can't wait to play, guys. I'll see you next time.